Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Laz Phoenix. Uh, this this video was a little bit overdue. Uh, I wanted to talk about my, my starter firearm that I started out with. Um, it was a recommendation, so, you know, I did some research on it, went with it. Uh, and yeah, man. So, got the, the Sig Sour P365. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But everything's empty right now. Just want to let y'all know. No, nothing in it. You know, uh, very clean. It's very, it's a very clean shot. It's not as clean as the uh, the new one I bought fairly recently. Um, I'll probably talk about that in a little bit. But I'm just gonna talk about this this being my first one and how I felt about it when I first shot it. It was different, a little bit weird. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of small. I have fairly fairly large hands. Um, six six two. 6'2 guy, so I'm a fairly big guy. Um, so definitely small, as you can see, it's it's fairly small in my hands, just in general, you know. Um, finger pretty much is almost at the, the end, the end right here. But um, yeah, man, definitely like it. Mainly, I mean, like me having a, a carry to conceal license i mean with this gun being so small with this firearm being so small this is something i can damn near put in my pocket you know um and as and as a bigger guy it's not going to be as noticeable um well that also depends on what i wear too you know so i mean for instance like if i'm wearing sweats or something kind of difficult to wear my holster i might have like a small bag on me or something or i could throw it in my pocket might be kind of visible. I mean, the objective for a carry to conceal is for people to not know that you have it. But um, yeah, yeah. So I, I would say definitely, definitely a great starter gun. I would say it's definitely more. It would be more uh, recommended for somebody with smaller hands, or maybe maybe a lady, maybe a woman. Um, that's starting out. But it's not a bad gun, though. I think it's not. It's not a bad gun. So. Yeah, by all means, if you if you're just a smaller individual, just a, like a smaller person, just an average, or I, I can just go say average, man. I can say average. You don't have super large hands, and this is definitely the gun for you, though, for sure. And I'm saying this right now. I'm not I'm not getting paid by these guys, so you know, uh, none, none of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, solid gun. I got got the magazine right here. Just chilling right now. I got my little holster. It's an inside waistband holster, of course. Works out beautifully. Um, you may have to do some adjustments on the screws um, so that you are able to get so that you're able to get the, um, the firearm out. Just in case if something were to happen, you know you can you can get it out, you know, real swiftly. But uh, yeah, man, that was just my quick my quick uh, first gun. First gun thoughts, man. You know, first gun recommendations as well. My first gun talk, you know. Like I said, very nice firearm. Very nice. Peace.